In this video, we'll be discussing the Test Project RESTful API. Test Project exposes a fully RESTful API which teams can use to schedule and trigger automation and retrieve testing results. To get started, simply head to the Integration section, API, and API Documentation. In the API Documentation, you can feel free to go over all the available endpoints to you, such as endpoints to update and change applications, to trigger executions, schedule jobs, or get information about projects and reports. You can even try out the endpoints through the documentation itself by heading up and authorizing with your API key. To create an API key, simply head over back to the API section on the Test Project platform. Once you finish naming your API key, you can choose which projects the API key will have access to, or you can make it unrestricted, meaning it can access all projects in your account. Let's copy the key and head back to the API documentation to finish the authorization. Let's use the following endpoint to trigger an execution on test project. Here we can see the documentation of this endpoint, including the parameters needed and the execution parameters we can use to override the job's default behavior as you configure it when creating it. To get a project ID and job ID, simply click on the More option and then the Copy ID option. You can also use a different endpoint to retrieve a project and job ID. As you can see in my jobs configuration, it is set to run on the Chrome browser. Using the execution parameters I've mentioned earlier, I'll override the execution of a job to trigger on Firefox instead of Chrome. Let's press on the execute button to trigger the execution. And as we can see, the execution did indeed start on Firefox instead. The response of this API endpoint is this specific execution's ID. We can use another endpoint to receive this execution's results. We just need to supply again the project ID and the job ID and select our desired format. Here I'll select a JUnit XML format for the reports. 